the Liberal Party wheel out John Howard every time they want to rally the faithful. But the same Liberal Party ignores the Howard message. In his most outstanding recent work, John Howard, A Sense of Balance, if we had, as the Conservative Party do in Britain, a training school for future candidates, no one standing for Liberal Party pre-selection in Australia should be allowed to progress to the next stage without answering questions based on the latest Howard series of essays, appropriately titled, as I said, A Sense of Balance. Not only has John Howard become a significant Australian historian, but he writes with clarity and conviction. To all parents out there whose children and uni students are being brainwashed in the classroom over climate change, the Howard essay on climate change and nuclear power is compulsory reading. One of the virtues of this series of essays is the refreshing disposition by Mr Howard to concede when he was wrong, when he may have things, done, things, done things differently, and to give credit where the other side has done well. He certainly belts the notion of an elected president right out of the park. He clearly points out the difference between referenda and plebiscites. He has this ability to make the digestion of his message an effortless exercise. Read the case for GST, for example, as opposed to an income tax. He makes a simple point. We must all earn an income to survive, but we do have some discretion about what we can consume. In other words, as I've said many times, you can therefore legally avoid consumption tax, GST, by choosing what you consume or buy. John Howard's grasp of history is revealing and refreshing. For example, speaking about the American Civil War in this book of essays, the essay slows you down. When Mr Howard writes, quote, the US fought a terrible civil war that claimed more lives than the nation has lost in total in all the military conflicts in which it has subsequently been involved, unquote. And proof of the fact that we need about a dozen John Howards in the Liberal Party today in the essay on choosing the leader, he modestly makes the point that, quote, during my almost 12 years as PM, I wasn't involved in any leadership ballots. There were none either for the leadership or deputy leadership. He makes the further point elsewhere that in all his time as Prime Minister, the top three posts, Prime Minister, Deputy and Foreign Minister, were occupied by the same people, Howard, Costello and Downer. Well, let's hear from the author, our 25th Prime Minister, John Howard. I am the view, as is the American practice, that the honorifics of President or Prime Minister should remain with any such person once the position has been not given, but won. So Prime Minister Howard joins me. Prime Minister, congratulations on this splendid anthology of essays. But may I commend you for the opening sentence, which should appear at the entrance to every classroom and lecture room in Australia when you write, Australia has been kind to me as it has to almost all who've been born in this blessed country or have chosen to live here, unquote. Why are we swamped, John Howard, with such negativism in politics, the media, education and commerce? I find that distressing as you do because you have won the lottery of life to be an Australian, no doubt about that. I suppose it's our natural tendency to self-deprecate we see it as a badge of honour in Australia if you self-deprecate in relation to yourself, which of course is a tautology, any grammarian would correct me on that. <laughs> uh, however, um, it's extended to our country. We don't take enough pride in all the firsts that Australia has won. We do in sporting first, but I wonder how many people watching this program realise that the secret ballot was first conceived in Australia. Uh, I wonder how many people understand that women had equal voting rights in Australia with men several decades before they did completely in the United States and the United Kingdom. They're the sort of things that uh, should be known from the very beginning. They're examples of mm. Australian mm. Excellent. I 